Yes, everyone, thank you for tuning into another video. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. So, before I get into the video, as always, I'd just like to say if you are feeling the content or you gain any sort of value from it, please like and subscribe. If you've got any thoughts, questions, opinions, anything similar, please leave them in the comment section down below. And let's crack into the video. So, today's video is going to be, you know, maybe slightly longer uh, than usual because I wanted to give a brief rundown on my full experience with fluoxetine. So a full breakdown of the two separate occasions I took it because I haven't made a video in a while regarding fluoxetine. And you know, if you're not aware, recently it's come to light that serotonin has, doesn't have the effect on the depression that we may think. Uh, there's been some new studies that have been released so SSRIs may not be effective in the way that we believed. And also, I haven't made a video in regards to taking fluoxetine or Prozac antidepressants in a while. And I just thought it would be good to maybe recap. If you're new to the channel, maybe you haven't come across those videos. And I just wanted to sum up everything. So I first took fluoxetine, a 20 milligram dose, daily 20 milligram dose in... I believe I started taking it in September 2016. So the reason I took it is because, you know, I was going through a real dip, a negative period of emotions or depression. And a family member of mine had started taking them, not fluoxetine, a different one, and said it had been a game changer. And I'd always been against medication. And I just thought maybe I was being naive and decided to give it a go. And... When I first started taking it, it took about five days to kick in. And I really remember one day walking around and just feeling elation and thinking, this is what people must just feel like all the time. I just felt great and everything was good. I didn't have any side effects Started uh, once I started taking it. The only side effects I had was I took a long time to ejaculate when I was either having sex with myself or sex with someone else. But apart from that, there was nothing negative and I started to feel pretty good, pretty stable. Now, even at this point, I'm going to go more into detail into this. I did feel that sort of, I was feeling good, but I was sort of slightly numb at the same time. It was like I didn't have the ups and downs. I just can't, instead of, you know, one day feeling like a 2 out of 10, but the other day feeling maybe an 8 out of 10, I just constantly felt at sort of 6.5 out of 10. I felt mentally stable, which I suppose for most people is is a really positive thing. And it went well for about a year and a half. After a year and a half, I started to feel the numb feelings even more. I just felt really disconnected from myself. And I went to Bali to go do a yoga teacher training because I'm a yoga instructor. And when I went out in Bali, we were talking a lot about energetics and how the mind works and sort of spiritual health, as it were. And I made the decision that I wanted to not take them anymore. I already had sort of been feeling that because I just didn't feel like they were doing me any good. So this was in February 2018. So, yeah, about a year and a half. So I just slowly weaned myself off them. I didn't just, you know, completely throw them uh, out the window. I went to like one every two days and then one every three days. And I came off them and I didn't really, you know, I didn't really feel bad at all. Now, one thing I'm, I need to mention is in this period from when I first started taking them to when I went to Bali, I got into my first serious romance. And I believe looking back at the situation, maybe this affected how I feel. My thoughts on taking medication is it's very difficult to ascertain exactly what is making you feel the way you do unless you really strictly monitor everything. So, you know, are the, is the medication working or is it this new person that you've met? Is it this new activity you're taking up? It's an interesting question. Um, anyway. I just wanted to make that point because it plays out as an important part of the story. So after a year and a half, weaned myself off them and I felt, I felt fine. Meanwhile, the relationship I was in was kind of going downhill. 
and you know after I stopped the medication we decided to call it quits and that was fine so this was February 2018 after taking them for a year and a half from August September 2016 and then from February to May you know I wasn't on the fluoxetine I felt I felt great you know I was I felt good with my life uh, I didn't really have any sort of negative feelings not uh, actually sorry beg your pardon I would say this was up until April 2018 so for the first two months after coming off fluoxetine, I felt fine. After that, I then went to Rome for some work and things started going downhill. I think partly I was upset about this relationship situation. I also think that the situation that was in Rome didn't unfold the way I li would have liked it to. And I just started feeling really negative. Now again, has coming off the fluoxetine got any repercussions on my emotions at the time again it's really difficult to say i came back to london and you know by then the situation with the relationship was sort of getting even worse and from may to august 2018 so the following three months it just started getting worse worse and worse and to be perfectly honest with you i think it was to do with me going through my first proper heartbreak and I just felt like I was losing control of my mind. The relationship situation ended, that was that. Due to the pain I was feeling, I then started taking fluoxetine again in August 2018. So I'd stopped in the February and I went back on them in the August, so about a six month period, six, six, seven months. Now the second time I took them, I got some quite extreme side effects uh, when I started taking them, which I hadn't experienced before. Now again, is the situation with the relationship contributing to this? I don't know. But things like, I really couldn't sleep. I felt like I was on a come down of like taking speed or ecstasy all the time. Like I was tired, but my brain just wouldn't shut off. I remember once I was having a conversation with someone really early in the mornings. This was another side effect. And I was talking to them and my vision started going all blotchy. And it was quite extreme and it was fine. Like I didn't fall over or anything like that. But I remember afterwards being like, whoa, like I had to really concentrate to not sort of let myself wobble. And that was a little bit of an unpleasant experience. And then after about, you know, I continued taking the fluoxetine and I would say come the sort of four months later, I started feeling those good feelings again. Again, looking back on the situation, I question, was it because... I was getting over the relationship situation. You know, another thing is during that period of heartbreak, I sort of lost control of all my positive habits, such as going to the gym, you know, eating properly. You know, if you've been through a heartbreak, you know how it feels. So, you know, the following year, so now we're into sort of March 2019, April 2019, I started to feel good again. I was completely over the situation uh, with the ex-girlfriend. And I was feeling good. I then met my next girlfriend in July 2019, July, August. And that's when I started to realize that the fluoxetine was having a bit of a damning effect on how I was feeling. I noticed even though my girlfriend was, you know, very positive from an aesthetic standpoint. Like I was very sexually attracted to her. I, like my sex drive was really low. I didn't want to have sex all the time. I felt really numb to like emotions. It was, it's really difficult for me to explain, but I felt like even though I was with this girl who was cool, even though she was a bit of a pain in the ass, I, I just couldn't get enjoyment out of the relationship. It was really challenging. And to be honest with you, it kind of destroyed the relationship because she kind of, I think, took offense to the situation because I basically couldn't express my feelings because I felt like I didn't have any. You know, and this kept on happening and, you know, we broke up a few months later and then January 2020, so for the new year 2020, I decided that's it, I'm not taking them anymore and I'm stopping. And since then, I haven't taken them again. And I've definitely been through a couple of periods of really bad depression but I've stayed off them and I'm very, very happy that I have. Now, just because this is the, the, the experience of mine, I don't wanna say this is gonna be the same for everyone. But something I think is very important to consider is 
you know, if you've got bad lifestyle habits and you're not happy with your job, you're not exercising, you know, you're spending all day sitting inside on a computer, eating shit, and then you're wondering why you're depressed, taking a pill isn't going to be your answer. I've been through serious doubts, bouts of depression, trust me. Like, you know, I meet some people and they talk about depression and I don't know, I don't think they know how it feels. Like, I know how it feels. Like, my uncle committed suicide when I was 19. I've seen depression. Like, I've felt it myself where doing the smallest things, I have to sum up every ounce of strength within me. And every step I take feels like the biggest challenge in the world. But one thing I'll say is after implementing lots of habits and experimenting, the depression still comes, but it's way more manageable. And I just accept this is what happens. And it tends to go away now after four or five days. But it's been a seriously serious long process. And I have to constantly stay on top of what I'm doing in terms of activities, in terms to not let myself fall back into the depression. You know, just an example at the moment, I've hurt my finger. I can only bend it this much at the moment. I don't know if you can see that. And I can't really train properly in the gym. It's been really challenging for me. And I've had to sort of be really mindful about how I'm, you know, uh, how I'm getting involved in other activities because I know about training, which is very important to me in terms of my mental health. Without training, I can fall into a bit of a negative spiral. So it's, it's a constant work, but it's worth it, in my opinion. You know, taking pills aren't the answer. Especially when you consider that, you know, th this new research that has come out, which has suggested that serotonin isn't affecting the mind and depression in the way that we first thought, basically has thrown everything the medical industry has been suggesting out of the window. Something else with SSRIs is, I remember sitting and asking the doctor, you know, how do these work? And he was like, we don't really know. Is it all a sort of placebo effect? Is it all an expectation effect? very difficult to say you know I think if you've got serious depression then maybe they're worth trying possibly something else I'd just like to mention is I have been diagnosed with bipolar cyclothymia and from the research that I've done it suggested that taking SSRIs can actually make the effects of bipolar worse something else to consider also so I hope that video was clear. I know it was a little bit long-winded, but I just wanted to sort of give a real full breakdown on my experience, you know, taking fluoxetine or Prozac, just to give some sort of insight. Anyway, I hope that was helpful, and wherever you are, have a fantastic day. I'll see you in the next video. Keep it real. Peace.